Calling all Doctor Who fans, the sonic screwdriver looks like a gun, apparently. I grew up with these, a tube with a light on. I always thought, as it says in the show, a scientific instrument. I thought it was just a gadget, a cool gadget to open doors, do things. Sarah Jane Adventures, a childish show. Same difference, really. Yes, it's designed like a lipstick, but sonic lipstick, you know. It was the same thing. And growing up with this. You know, these are scientific instruments in the show. It's not a weapon. It's always stated that. So Russell T. Davis has now said, yeah, looks like a gun. Yeah, it looks like a Dalek plunger with this one. But, you know, but he's just had the 14th Doctor with, um, you know, the Sonic, basically. This is the 14th Doctor. Russell's first Doctor back. And then he's deciding to change it. Uh, to make it for shooties one so kids don't go around playing and thinking they're going to be influenced with guns and stuff. Classic who? We've all grown up with the Sonics always looking like this and now it looks like a remote, a Sky remote. Uh, and, and Russell says that's better because it don't look like a gun. If you've ever watched the show, you understand it is nothing like that. And... If children are watching, they're not going to be influenced with the aspect of it being a gun. Because isn't because the whole show makes a point. The Doctor doesn't use weapon. He does occasionally. He, do, he does. But occasionally, but majority of the time, he's like, no, not weapons. I'm just a man with a sonic. And um, fixing things. A sonic to fix things. What does the Doctor do? Fix things. The whole show influences and uses this to its advantage to get out of episodes that are too complicated. The Doctor's stuck behind a door, he needs a device to get it, get the show going sort of thing. Sonic, it helps him. But it's always been influenced as not a weapon. The Doctor has used it as weapon in the past, like the Silurans, when the 11th Doctor just went and took the weapons out. But he's never killed anyone really with it. I, as far as I know, he probably has at one point, to be fair. But the weapon-wise, it's never been stated like a like a gun. No. No. Um, so the aspect of Russell basically saying the Sonic needs to be changed, I think, is Disney. I think Disney have done Davros dirty and making him now he should look like this sort of thing. I think Disney has done the Sonic dirty and now um, there's another aspect that I disagree. Oh, a series one. Um, so th th I think it's all Disney basically and Russell's just a yes man at this point saying that. Because Russell did this. I grew up with Russell's era. I'm looking forward to Doctor Who's episodes uh, next week. I'm excited, but it's just something I'm just a little bit frustrated with because it's just like, I don't think this is Russell. I don't think this is Russell saying it. He may say, yes, I'm doing it because he is the face of the brand behind the Doctor. He's the showrunner. He's meant to be sh running the whole thing, but I feel like he's he's being puppeted by Disney in a way. Like, he still have his ideas. He still has his all inputs, and he has his, uh, you know, like, Bad Wolf. He has... Uh, Bad Wolf Productions. He has people. He has uh, celebrities on the phone ready to get them in episodes. He, that's all him. But I do think Disney giving us all this money, they've got to have something in control. They've got to have some, you know. Actually, that Sonic Screwdriver. Kids could think that's a weapon. Why do you think that, Disney? Because you've never watched a Doctor Who episode. Davros, you know. That looks like, you know, people shouldn't be should be evil you know people who have uh, disadvantages you know they shouldn't they shouldn't be evil no i think disney just you know changing things by the view the outside view but if you are a kid watching the show you would understand no this isn't a weapon the only aspect is if you've never watched doctor who as a kid and your mom buys you a sonic you probably would use it as a gun because you don't know what the show is and that is the only ex explanation I could think of but that's just me I'm just saying it as it is I think that's a bit of a eh, I think the design looks okay for the new Sonic but it's just the mention of Russell saying it looks like a gun is a bit like okay mate you're being puppeted here that's what I just feel that's my honest opinion guys you may hate me for that 
But anyway, join me for my review of episode one and two next Saturday. Doctor Who's back. I'm excited for that. I think Shooty's brilliant from what we've seen of him so far. Great ambassador. I think Millie is going to be a brilliant companion. Me being fostered as well is a cool like, oh my god, I can relate to this. You know? Um, but, yeah. It's just, just some stuff's not, not right. And I felt like I just had to say something. Um, so what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Am I bad? Am I a good person for, for saying against the almighty Russell? Am I a bad person for saying it? Because I'm going against Russell T. Davis here. Oh, my God. I am a um, bad Doctor Who fan that hates... Hates... I don't know. The show. I, I, I don't. Clearly, not watch Classic Who, New Who, all the spin offs Meet all the living Doctors apart from Shooty, hopefully one day, companions and all sorts. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love the show. I'm just stating that's not right. 